All right, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing a Switch Stein guitar made by Switch Vibercell. This model is called a Stein. And uh, Switch Vibercell was a short lived company in the early to mid 2000s. They made molded synthetic guitars. This is not wood. They would use a uh, carbon graphite type substance called ebonol for the fretboards and or they would use rosewood for the fretboards. So this one is polyurethane type injection molded material with a rosewood fretboard. I got this thing at Guitar Center used a couple years ago for about 230 bucks. And this particular model, if you can find it, goes around uh, between $200 and uh, $600, depending on what the features are. Now, a little bit about the company and the guitar itself. So a quick rundown on the company. They came out in the early 2000s, and they uh, first started appearing at NAMM with their product line. In 2004 and they um, basically were bought supposedly by Fender that's just what I heard in forums I'd never seen anything official anywhere online about that but it's believable it's possible that they bought the company to shelf it and get rid of the whole idea because basically I think that these would be pretty cool they would have changed their aesthetics a little bit through the years. They could be making some really interesting guitars right now. Um, I wound up with two of these, and I'll do a review on the other guitar, which is a uh, Stealth model. So the Stealth model is completely different scale than the uh, Stein model. The Stein is a Fender scale, and the, uh, the Stealth model is Gibson scale. That one is all synthetic Ebonol fretboard. And the playability on that one is pretty darn incredible. Opposite end of the uh, quality compared to this Stein on what I got. Basically with the Stein, it might have been at the end of their production when they were selling the company and no one cared anymore. The sanding was so inconsistent on the fretboard that I don't think they were paying any attention and basically they just sanded a, a big bowl in the middle near the treble side. I had to basically re-radius it the best I could and refret the entire thing to make it playable. I can talk about that in another video. All right, so let's see what this thing sounds like and plays like. Thank you. 
All right, so my first impressions on the sound of the pickups would be basically the the humbuckers, the Alnico 3 humbuckers don't cut the mustard for uh, the kind of tone I would want to have. Get those replaced. The uh, single coils aren't bad, although I'm getting noise on them when I'm thumping around with my thumb. Maybe that's just me being too much of a slob with my technique, but... I don't know. Still, I don't think they should be doing that. Okay, so here it is with the back plates off. And, and then the, um, the pots are exactly what you would expect from how it sounds. Um, the wiring configuration is really cool really useful the way it's wired but yeah there's there's really cheap pots and um that's what it looks like with the plates on it's kind of cool how the plates look and then um And I replaced the black plastic knobs with these. They don't really match, but these are aluminum knobs and a really cool aluminum switch cap. And I gotta say, the, the switch they put in here feels like a shifter in a car. It's really solid. I love that. Uh, if you want something like a Steinberger. This is like a poor man's Steinberger, I guess, nowadays. And you want to try a guitar out like out of synthetic materials, see what it's like. I would definitely say get one of these. You know, it's, it's not for your boutique collector appeal. You know, you like tone woods and all that. This, this isn't your thing, but it's got a lot of sustain. And in the end, yeah, I mean, if, if, if there's somebody locally with one of these and they've got it up for a fair price and you can actually go play it, oh, man, that would be, you know, ideal. But over the Internet and stuff, you just have to you have to take people's uh, word on it, ask questions. And just one more thing to note on this before I finish this video up is I just wanted to say it's definitely one of the most comfortable guitars I've played. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, they came in lots of flashy colors. And uh, yeah, check them out on Google. There's always like half a dozen of these things up for sale and they're not going up in value so far. So they're pretty fair value. And um, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. Just make sure you don't get one of these weirdo duds that I got with my Stein. Because not everybody's got, you know, four or five hundred dollars to have some luthier go out and fix it for them.